You really think you got the sunshine? I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Like you, you really think you got sunshine? <laughs> when it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. If she slept with ten kings, you know what I'm saying? She slept with ten princes. She slept with ten gods. Then I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to be the eleventh. <laughs> but if she slept with ten peasants. Does she, you know what I'm saying? Does her body, does her poom poom, does she, what she have in between her legs, does it have as much value anymore? You see what I'm saying? If, if a woman has had intimacy with 10 gods, may all the, may all the gods, you know, come climax to the highest extent, you know, you're like, oh snap, you know what I'm saying? You, you done got together with 10 gods, like not saying that she was passed around but you know what I'm saying like it's, it's different from you know you meeting a girl and then you find out that all the men that she's been with are trashy hood niggas got baby mamas two to three to four different baby mamas and, and then you're going to tow you know what I mean like and then he involves you in his situation and so on and so forth like where does that put you? You have men out here who don't have anything going for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make SoundCloud songs and they trashy. And you giving it up to him? And, and this is something to keep in mind. Who you sleep with says a lot about you. Who you have sex with. Who you decide to fuck. And for the women who you decide to fuck you it says a lot about your character because are you just going to be a pass around are you just going to let anybody and everybody fuck you if you let niggas who ain't shit fuck you then you ain't shit but if you let niggas who have value fuck you then you have value you see what i'm saying if you let niggas take advantage of you what does that say about you are you a piece of property are you, do, are you to be taken advantage of? And that's not to be insensitive, but that's just to be real. If you consider yourself to be a king or a queen or a goddess or a god, then you should conduct and carry yourself as such. How are you going to consider yourself to be a god and yet you got three different baby mamas and you, you know, you, you give him women chlamydia or STDs or HIV whatever the case is you know but you're a god you don't take care of yourself sexually you don't clean yourself you don't get yourself checked up you don't you know take care of yourself or give the woman safety when y'all interact but you're a god you're a goddess but every man that you have interacted with you know just, just haven't been shit Ain't got nothing going for themselves. Always getting themselves into trouble. But he deserves your pussy, right? He deserves your pussy. The man keeps running back to his problems. Never can get out of his problems. And then even when he tells you. And you see it clear as day. Eye to eye. Of him being in the predicament that he is in. You think your pussy can change him. You think you Erica Badu. I, I never understand that. I will never understand that as long as I live. Certain women that will go out of their way to having sex with ain't shit niggas and thinking that their pussy can change them. Like, what are you, Mary Magdalene? Like, do, do you really think that your pussy is all that? You really think you got the sunshine? I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Like, you, you really think you got sunshine? <laughs> When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. I've guess you say what can make me feel this way. Like you really think you got sunshine, my girl. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> but you really think you got the sunshine. You really think you got the.